at this point it's a rescue mission we gotta get the truck out before we do any damage to it good morning modern steaders we got about six inches of snow last night and it's still coming down storm's not finished but we need to get out there get the road plowed so the bus can get olivia this is going to be our office for a little while this morning good thing we got our coffee That's good for now. I got that cleaned up enough so everybody can get out of the house. I'm gonna say we probably got six or seven inches of snow. Come on, this way. Here he comes. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Wait. Whoa, what was that scary noise? <laughs> what was that, Tanner? Huh? What was that? Find anything? Tanner. Love you. Love you. Drive yeah. safe. I'm plowing. We're gonna have some cleaning up to do today from this snowstorm. Huh. 
looks like it's finishing up snowing for now. And then later tonight, we're supposed to get another inch or two of snow. We'll finish taking care of the animals, and then I'll clean up from this snowstorm. Whoa, it's pretty slick under the snow still. Morning, girls. We got more snow, I know. I think Figaro's had enough of the snow. We can't go out and catch mice. They did a pretty good job eating this pine tree that we got yesterday. Let's put it up on Goat Mountain for now so we can clean up in here later. Oh, you gonna eat the wipes? You ready for your feed? Yeah, I bet you are. Come on, Willow. You smell the pellets? It feels like the never ending battle was snow this year. Seems like every time we get caught up on it, we get another one. I want to clean the goat pen out again. Waiting till there was like three feet, four feet of snow in here last week. Wasn't a good idea. And then tonight, it's supposed to get down to about seven below zero Fahrenheit. And with the wind chill, it's supposed to feel like 20 to 30 below zero. So it's gonna take a while to warm up tomorrow morning. And I'm not gonna wanna be out in the Kubota when it's that cold. Ready for some hay? Bring it outside. There you go. I filled up their seaweed yesterday. They've eaten quite a bit of that. And then we put some more goat minerals in. Right there. I'll come back down here in a little bit. You ready to go back in, Figaro? He thinks he's hiding on us. We see you. I think Pluto's enjoying having a puppy around. It's making her act more young again, which is nice to see. And how she's more playful. She's learning her tricks because we're getting Tana to, we're teaching Tana how to sit, give us a paw, give us high fives, so she'll sit right down behind them and she'll start doing it. It's kind of funny. If you'd like to see more of that on camera, leave it in the comments down below. <sighs> she'll end up putting her paw on Tana when we ask for his paw. But looks like Figaro's been over here checking everything out. He's using the trails we have cut in for his walking. Look at all that snow on New York City's roof. Morning moose, ladies. I got a treat for you later on. I didn't think there was any eggs in there this morning, but there's one. I can't get over how good these chickens have been laying all winter. We have Novagins and Easter egg layers in there for chickens. The Novagins have been, oh, almost fell over. The Novagins are laying the best. We get them from freedomrangerhatcheries.com. Small hatchery, family hatchery. I don't remember which state they're in, but we've had really good luck with those two breeds this year. Let's get the rest of the homestead cleaned up now.
like we knocked over a GoPro. Must have just been the backlash of the snow. got stuck guys I gotta figure out what I need to do to get out I think it's just because we're on ice the front end keeps on get pulled over that way I have to dig it out yeah that front tire is buried pretty good We're buried right up to the bottom of the door. <sighs> That's pretty hard. Snowpack, ice under here. <sighs> That's the issue. I think all this ice is what's messing us up. Let's see if we can dig all this up. I start sliding anymore. <laughs> oh, we'll be in trouble. There. Let's try that. Hopefully, we go out and not over anymore. camera's not picking it up that good, but the truck just slid six inches towards that York rake. My concern is back here. We got a garden cart and then a York rake.
right, I'm gonna need this. rescue mission. We gotta get the truck out before we do any damage to it. It'd be nice to have another set of hands right now, but I'll see what we can do. I just want to get the back side of the truck over this way some. it some not a lot and I'm hoping if I keep tension on the tractor I can back it up a little bit let's try it that didn't work I have to rethink this for a minute I have another idea let's see if this works all the tires See if the tractor can pull that. Ha ha! That seemed to work pretty good, guys. Got the weight off of the tire and it dragged it up. I like it. Let's let it down. Let's try this. <sighs> Better move the tractor. Let's try it again. Hopefully this time it goes better. Ah, yes. I can feel the front slipping. But before I gun it, I just want to make sure I didn't leave any tools or anything else that I'm going to run into with the truck. That would not be good. Awesome, everything seems good. Let's get it out the rest of the way now. Oh, 
that feels so good to get the truck out without breaking nothing or damaging anything. <sighs> That's a win. Now we still need to finish digging out the rest of the homestead. <sighs> and it's snowing again, guys. It's snowing. Whoa, no wonder why the truck got stuck. That's pretty slippery in that spot. I almost fell. Man, look at that. Pure ice. We're on an incline here, so it's just sucking the truck down that way. I'm glad we got out. Let's finish this up and hopefully we don't get stuck again. Going down to the goat barn. Hopefully we don't get stuck down here. It's not the snow that's the real issue, it's all the ice. Everything's slippery, so you slide around, you get stuck in a snowbank, and then you don't have any traction. We're skipping past quite a bit of the day. I ended up getting the goat pen dug out, got all the plowing done, getting the truck stuck. Oh, it just gave me a rassle tassel for the day. <laughs> I'm recouped now and I figured we'd bring some leftover food to New York City. We're always bringing it to the greenhouse chickens or the chickens in the greenhouse. Guess I was having dyslexia there for a minute. <laughs> So we'll give the guys a New York, we'll give the ladies a New York City some leftovers. I bet they're gonna enjoy this. Set that over there. You ladies. You won't even let me get it out of the bucket before you eat it, huh? We got some apples, some carrots, some leftover bread. What else we got? Some avocado skins. Uh, looks like some oatmeal. You girls are gonna have a moose. This goes for you too, you get to have a feast. Look at that. Er, we got one egg. Is that it? Oh no. Three more hiding over here. Moose was hiding them on us. Cracked. Nice. You look cold, Pluto. You want to go to the goats with me or are you going in the house? Huh? You want to go do the goats or are you going to go in the house? I bet you she's going in the house. She's cold. Here, I'll let you in. Come on. That wind is picking up. It's supposed to be 25 below zero. Tonight with the wind chill, oh, go check on the goats, give them some extra hay so they can stay warm. I was able to get this all cleaned up pretty good down here. It's filled back in with a little bit of snow. It's windy. We got their pen all cleaned out. Yeah, your pen's all cleaned out. I'm gonna lock you in, it's getting windy. Burr. There we go. Take some ice out of their water. Want some extra hay? Here you go. All right, stay warm with the extra hay and bedding. Oh, that wind is really picking up and it is getting cold. Whew. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but the smoke coming out of the chimney is blowing hard that way. Well, I hope you've been staying warm with all this nasty cold weather we've been getting. We didn't get the cold weather as bad as some of the people did out west. Oh, negative. I think I saw a negative 65 with the wind chill in some areas. Burr. 
I tried getting some footage right here of the wind and snow blowing around that night, but it didn't pick it up that great on camera. So that's where we're going to end the video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You guys are a true blessing to our family. And I'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.